Hi everyone and welcome to Nico's Kitchen's Fast Food. I have been getting inundated with this recipe to make it, so here it is. We're making a five minute quiche in a cup. Let's get started. He's got budget meals Monday, what you want Wednesday, fast food Friday, what else could he share? It's Nico's Kitchen where satisfying meals are prepared. So for our cheats quiche, just into a jug here or a bowl. I'm going to be cracking in one egg. Next, I'm going to be adding in some milk. I'm just going to give this a quick whisk. To give it this beautiful creamy texture, I'm now going to add in some spreadable cream cheese, some Philly spreadable cream cheese. Now, if you don't want to use uh, Philly cream cheese, you can just use some cheddar cheese for this or some feta cheese if you wanted to. I'm going to season with some salt and pepper and just give this a little mix around, try and get that cream cheese just combined a little bit with the egg and the milk. So now we're going to be adding in some ham. If you didn't want to use just normal ham, if you wanted to get a little bit fancier with it, you could use some prosciutto. You could also throw in some sun-dried tomatoes, some roasted chicken, up to you. Next, I've got some chives, some fresh chives that I've just chopped up roughly, and also some fresh thyme as well. And once again, we just want to give this a quick mix around. So what I'm going to be adding in now is some bread pieces. Just I've chopped them up into large chunks, and it's just white, crusty bread, okay, but you can use rye, wholemeal, multigrain, up to you. And I'm just gonna add them in as well. And we just wanna mix them around, get them coated. And now, just into a coffee mug, you can use whatever size you want. You could even pop this in a bowl if you wanted to. We're just gonna place in that mixture straight in. So now what we're gonna do is pop this into the microwave. It's only gonna take between a minute and a minute 30 on high. When I tested this recipe a couple of times, it took me a minute 10. So just pop it in the microwave, put it in for a minute. If it's cooked, great. If it needs, you know, 10 to 30 seconds more, just put it in. So I've just pulled out our individual quiche out of the microwave. It smells really, really good. Every time I've popped this out of the microwave, it smells like quiche. It really does. Now, a couple of things we're going to finish this off with. First of all, I've got some Dijon mustard and I just want to place some of that on the top with some extra chives on the top and I reckon we're ready to get stuck into it. Now I know we've done these mug recipes to death but you know what, this one is actually really good in the few times I've tested it. Here we go. Mmm. It's great flavours. You know what, if you're single or a student or just looking for that quick fix meal that's pretty good for you too, I mean there's nothing really in this that's bad for you. You know what, this is your go-to meal. It's just great and you can, you can make three or four of them at a time, you know, hand them out but whatever, it's cheap to do, it's fast to do, and it's really simple to make. And just ticks all the boxes for me, great flavors too. Obviously, it's not as good as a normal quiche, clearly, but you know what, it's not bad. So give this one a try, you're gonna love it. 